the Drew Crew, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to Sunny YouTube. Welcome to Drew Tube. Today, we are going to take a look at my hoodie and my jacket collection. From windbreakers to, to hoodies to jackets to pullovers, whatever I got, I'm going to show you guys. And I don't have a lot of time to do this video because if you guys can't notice, if this video is a little dark, I'm sorry. It's just really hard to find like natural lighting when the days are shorter in the winter. So, with that being said, I'm going to try to get through this video like pretty quickly just so we don't lose lighting but i'm gonna give you guys some good content and you guys are probably wondering like why i'm in like pajamas listen this is what i wear around the house like i'm literally in like pajamas but i'm gonna film this video and when i put on the jackets i'm gonna actually put on real bottoms to give you guys you know what i'm saying a little you know what i'm saying a little lookbook of the hoodies and all the jackets so with that being said let's get into this let's go so first jacket i want to show you guys is one of my like prized possessions one of my favorite jackets in my collection this is going to be my vintage the north face 700 puffer down and yes it is actually the vintage colorway it is not like a re-release this joint cost me so much money okay this cost me so much money when it's like the older versions like the vintage versions they run they i'm telling you they run and i remember i wanted this one and i wanted the green one but after spending what i spent on this one i i couldn't do the green one man that joint was like it was like 600 dollars so but yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna get this jacket out the way first because I actually, I wanna wear it this video. So, I feel like it's gonna counterbalance the, uh, the lighting in the back. I'm going to be switching between hoodies, jackets, whatever. I'm not gonna go in any specific order because I have so much and I have to pull them from my closet and just like throw them on a pile on my bed. So what I, whatever I pick up is whatever I'm showing you guys. Next up, we have the 555 Spider hoodie. I actually didn't buy this hoodie. Um, I got this from Goat App. Shout out Goat App. They sent me this for, um, you know what I'm saying? They wanted to work on a little video together and I got to pick like $2,000 worth of pieces off of Goat App. So this was one of them. And yeah, this is a cool little hoodie. Next hoodie, we got the basket case joint. Now I just got this a couple months ago. It probably takes the cake in my collection for one of my favorite hoodies. I don't know why, it just fits pretty well. Um, quality is really up there. And it's just a little bit different. And I do like the colors together. Everyone always asks me where I get this from. It is from Basket Case Gallery. If y'all don't know, go slide Basket Case Gallery. Next up, we got the runner jacket in like a, a very, very, very light green. Now I have two versions of this jacket. I'm gonna lump them together. So I have this one. I don't know if you guys can really see this. And this is the lighter one. As you guys can see, one is like green and then one is blue. But these are from a fellow mutual and friend of mine. His name is Rich Uzi. And this is his brand Runner. He's one of my favorite like clothing designers, like small brand wise. I mess with his brand so hard. So like he gifted me these two hoodies and the pants I'm wearing in this picture. But the hoodie that I have on in this picture is also Runner. It's like one of my favorite hoodies. I will actually show you guys that next. I know you guys probably can't tell the difference with the lighting being the way it is, but these are the two hoodies from Runner. And with that being said, I will show you guys um, the next hoodie. This is the other hoodie from Runner. And this like, this goes insanely hard. As you guys can see, I'm pretty sure by the time I drop this video, my latest fit pick will be with this hoodie on. But go like that fit pick. Go follow me at Drew and Color on Instagram. This hoodie is beautiful. It's well-crafted. I love like, I just love the concept of the pockets. And it's crazy because look, this is one pocket. Unzip this, that's another pocket. Unzip the size, that's another pocket. Go to the other side, it's also like three pockets on each side. So this is like incredible. Next up, I have my, one of my favorite hoodies I own. This is a vintage Russell, Texas hoodie and it is like beautiful. It is like the perfect dimensions, it's the perfect fit. The fabric is amazing. Everyone always asks me where I get this hoodie. Just because of the way it looks when I actually put it on. If you guys can see, it has like that beautiful crop look. And from having it for so long, cause I thrifted this like a couple years ago now, but who knows how long like it's been around. Like it has a nice fade to it. I absolutely love this hoodie. Like this is one of my favorite hoodies. I thought it was time when I'm going to the store, when I'm chilling around the house, like anything. As you guys know, this is my hoodie from my brand, The Warmest Colors. Now this is not my, this was my favorite colorway of this hoodie before I came out with the newest one, the blue one. If you know, you know, the sage one. If you know, you know. But I'm about to show you guys three different versions of this hoodie. So this is the brown one. This is my first ever piece. This is my first ever piece I ever made. The orange and the brown one. I'll show you guys the orange one next, but this, this hoodie means so much to me. This is my own design, my own concept, my own work brought to life. Like, this is crazy. And it's all cut and sew here in Los Angeles. So this is a very special hoodie to me. This is from my brand, The Warmest Colors. As you guys can see on the tag, 
And yeah, this is my hoodie. So here it is in brown. Here it is in orange. This is actually the first color I ever picked for this hoodie. So shout out this color. This was not a color I even expected myself to pick. But I don't know why. Like, I was just feeling orange. Like, this is dope. Like, orange and cream is dope. I don't know. So... This is my first ever one. And this is the latest color. This is by far the most popular color. Both the brown and the orange sold out. And then this one also sold out first day besides the XLs. This is a nice soft sage colorway. This is the third colorway of my hoodie. And yeah, gang, with that being said, let's move on to the next hoodie. Actually, you know what? Let's do a, let's do a jacket. Next up is my The North Face 600 vintage down puffer jacket. And um, yeah, actually crazy story, I actually found this thrifting. This is like one of my favorite winter coats. And I don't know why, it's just because like when I wear this, I feel so shysty. Like if I put on a ski mask, like I really like this jacket. I don't know why, it's one of my favorite winter coats. And um, yeah, I feel real shysty. Real from the Bronx, real from New York in this bit. I'm not gonna waste too much time on this, but also I am gonna waste too much time on this because this is a beautiful item of clothing. This is Badson US's new hoodie. As you guys know, you guys probably seen this hoodie all over social media. Um, it's all over my Explore page and like my feeds and stuff. And it's the same brand as my hat, as my hat that I'm wearing. This beanie that I'm wearing in this video is the same brand. It's not hard to tell, like, it's got the same vibe, but yeah. I love the way this fits and also as you guys can see on the waist it's got the like ties to like crop this hoodie to your preference which I really like that should be like a universal feature and I still keep it I still keep it in the bag it came in cuz I'm the type to I don't know I'm a little clumsy I'm not clumsy but sometimes I have my moments and I just feel like if, if I leave this laying around somewhere or something like I don't know I'm gonna spill something I don't even know. another personal favorite of mine this is the real king of crop and boxy jackets that I have. This is the Ranger Cartel. This is like from one of their like first, first collections, one of their first few or even first, something like that. This is from one of their first couple of collections. And man, like, I don't know why when I saw this, I was like, this color is sick. The graphic is sick. And the fit of this is the sickest thing of all. This jacket is absolutely sick stupid of it's like garment dyed and you can tell in some places because it's like maybe you guys can see it here yeah you guys can see it here let me focus this you guys see that Ooh, that fay go crazy that fay go stupid and i only wear it on special occasions because like i told you guys sometimes like for sure for sure if i eat something 90 per set 65 percent of the time i'm going to spill something on myself for show, for show. I'm spilling something. Next up is my vintage ACG winter puffer down coat. This joint is crazy, y'all. This joint is crazy. It has so many hidden features, hidden pockets. This joint goes stupid. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If y'all don't know, ACG has like the craziest vintage pieces. I'm always trying to scalp and look for vintage ACG, whether that's on Grailed, eBay, Depop, whatever. Like, yeah, just look at the shape of this. Look at the colors on it, the forest green and the white. Like, this goes crazy the hood on it goes crazy all these extra pockets on the side it's got the um elastic on the waist to tighten it yeah man this goes crazy next up this is one of my favorite hoodies this is a hoodie by a clothing designer named adam small nothing much to really say about it it is just a plain basic cropped and boxy hoodie but the fit is really nice it's a really great material and it's very comfortable i throw this hoodie on with anything for real and i really like colors like this like this is not a color that you see being used often it's just like a really pretty color it's a real pretty color so yeah this is one of my favorite like everyday throw on for whatever hoodies next up we have the fresno state bulldog vintage russell hoodie this is also another really favorite hoodie of mine something else that i thrifted if y'all don't know i used to live in tucson arizona for a short period of time in my life like about three three years and um Man, there used to be a there used to be a Savers on Speedway. If anyone's in Tucson, Savers on Speedway, crazy, crazy. I'm telling you, half of the craziest things I have in my closet, I thrifted from that Savers. I'm 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 about to expose it. So whoever watches this video and you in Tucson, yo, I just I just gave you like everything right there. The fit of this hoodie is amazing. Yeah, I just like that it's a college hoodie, and I think over time it'll get a nice fade to it. And I plan on leaving it in the back of my car window to really get that. You know what I'm saying? That sun fade. Like I want it like pink. I'm about to leave this in my car for like a year. Cool little hoodie, two-tone, cool little graphic. It is from, if I'm not mistaken, the brand is Fatal Mistakes. And yeah, this hoodie was given to me as a gift. I really like it, it's great quality. 
And what does that say on the bottom? Last Valentine. Yeah, man. Cool little graphic, cool little two-tone. That being said, let's get on to the next hoodie. Everyone always asks me, what hoodie is this? What hoodie is this? This is simply a plain blank Yeezy Gap hoodie. As you guys know, what they would call the perfect hoodie. And I'm not gonna lie. It just might be the perfect hoodie. The fit on this is insane. Um, it's extremely thick, extremely comfortable. Good material. It's soft. It's heavyweight, box, crop. Yo. This might be the perfect hoodie. I throw this hoodie on with anything, as you guys can see, or as you guys know, I do like, you know what I'm saying? Just blank box, good fitting to my proportion wise hoodies. Like that's simply just what I like. Yeah, it goes crazy. All right, let's move on to what's next. I feel like I thought I had a lot, but I'm kind of like blowing through these. I'm kind of blowing through this. So I'm gonna try to, um, how long have we been filming? 20 minutes? No, okay. I, I thought I was blowing through this, but I do have another The North Face 700 puff down coat. But if I'm not mistaken, I don't think this one is necessarily, you know, and I'm not going to call it. I don't know if this one's necessarily, I don't think this one's like vintage, but this is another 700 puff down. And yeah, nothing too much to say about it. Cool little two-tone red colorway on it. I don't know if you guys can really see the two-tone, but the top right here is a little bit darker than the body. But yeah, it's just a cool little puffer. Um, and these are really essential when I go to see my family in New York or I go to see my brother in Chicago. The hype is gonna love this one. We have the Supreme Windbreaker on deck. I hope you guys can see those different tones of green right there. White on the back. Yeah, this is real cold. What really got me was the colorway of this windbreaker. The green with the orange is just like, that's some good color matching right there. That's some good color correlation, compilation, mutation right there. That's some good Shit. This is perfect on like a rainy, windy day. As you guys know, we don't get a lot of those in California. But um, when it happened, it do happen. And you know what I be doing? I be putting that bit on and I be going outside and I be like. I haven't checked my phone in a mini. I haven't checked my phone in a minute. All right, next up, we have a quarter zip down ACG long sleeve for the winter. Very fleecy, as you guys can see. As you guys know, like I said earlier, I love my ACG. I love my ACG. And this bit is real cool. This is real fly. This, this is real cool. I love colors like this. Like, it's just giving Jet Set Radio vibes, you feel me? And I just love to give off that like bright color, futuristic vibe sometimes. So with that being said, let's go move on to another kind of zip up fleece jacket that I have. Yeah, this is going to be the Arcteryx zip up kind of like fleece jacket. This is the red on red color. Yo, this joint goes stupid okay i don't know why i just feel like i'm on my totally spies vibes in this bit like the way it just like hugs my waist it's skinny you feel me like the you know what i'm saying it just hugs in all the right places i really feel sleek i really feel like i'm about to do something like i'm about to go you know what i'm saying there you go it's probably a grail for a lot of people y'all this is my patagonia deep pile retro x fleece yes 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 this is the vintage one i'll probably see this on pinterest a lot this is one of my like most prized pieces i don't know why like it's just a beautiful fleece the deep pile patagonia fleece like i feel like that's the fleece of all fleeces color is beautiful to me you guys know like who's the queen of earth tones it only makes sense that i got this bit so yeah with that being said let's move on to the next item okay listen how do i explain this this jacket is amazing this jacket is absolutely amazing um the way it is constructed the way it looks when it's put on like i don't know how to explain it this jacket is just amazing i love this jacket and if this had the arcteryx logo on it this would go crazy this jacket literally costs just as much as the arcteryx jacket but like look at the sleeves right here very clean cut very sharp edge like i, I don't know why i just love this jacket we will say i like it better than the supreme windbreaker next up we have the menace los angeles denim jacket i mess with this jacket this is another jacket that they threw me if you guys saw my last vlog they gave me their most latest jacket i'm about to bring that one out next that one goes crazy that one goes crazy it's like my favorite jacket right now but um i also have this one that they gave me i think like last year or earlier this year i gotta go tap in with menace like this is crazy then let me show you guys actually their newest denim jacket so this right here is menace's new denim jacket and y'all like this is like my favorite jacket this is like my favorite jacket like i just got this like a couple days ago as you guys can see it buttons up but then it also has a zipper the embroidery on the shoulder is insane look at the button the inside is also i forgot what this material is but as you guys can see if the camera will focus 
the inside is this material and yeah like this is just a like a mad comfortable like and fashionable i'm a, as you guys can see like when i have it on it's usually best if i wear a hoodie under because it gives like that i don't know it just gives a certain vibe like the way it fits like i just rock with this jacket so hard all right guys next piece that i have this y'all is one of like this is probably like my favorite piece i own i don't care how much this is worth how much i bought it for y'all this is like one of my best thrift finds too like i don't know why this jacket if y'all could see the color and the vibrancy like if y'all could just see this jacket in person you would know exactly what i'm talking about i thrifted this jacket too from the savers on broadway in tucson arizona yes i am exposing it why because i don't have access to it anymore so i don't care this is a vintage ralph lauren puffer this is the most beautiful deep set burnt orange i have ever seen from the color to the quilt pattern to the patch on the side this could be worth two dollars and fifty cents and i wouldn't care this is beautiful next up next up another grail of mine personally that i love that i thrifted is this russell real tree hoodie slash coat slash jacket as you guys can see this is beautiful if you guys don't know like anything that i have that's real tree i've thrifted and people always ask me like where i get my real tree and it's just like i don't know it's just i feel like it's just like abundant in the thrift here is another real tree jacket that i thrifted if you guys cannot tell from the other one it's slightly they're different colors yeah you guys can definitely see it right there this is more of like a faded brown and this is more of like a green but yes this is another thrifted real tree jacket that i have found another russell hoodie that i thrifted i'm not gonna waste too much time on this this is just a simple black russell blank but as you guys know you cannot go wrong with the fit of russell hoodies this is a blank vintage russell cropped and box hoodie yeah this is another hoodie that menace los angeles threw me but this was for sure last year um and this is their spider hoodie this hoodie goes crazy i think this hoodie's so fire i think this hoodie's so fire it's just plain on the front besides the menace los angeles with the webs on the back and yeah this is a really cool oversized comfy hoodie i used to throw this hoodie on with everything this hoodie i also thrifted you guys can see this hoodie has holes in it it's raggedy it's faded in some spots it's torn at the top but i don't know why i just love this hoodie like this hoodie i have beat to the ground personally when i found it it was already beat up but i beat it up even more i don't know if you guys can see on camera this really is like i wear this hoodie most out of any other item in my closet like this hoodie gets worn when I wake up, when I go to sleep, when I go out, when I do this, when I do that, like I wear this hoodie for everything. Like this is truly my at home hoodie. This is a cool little pickup that I got from um, the Rose Bowl flea here. But as you guys can see, this is an Atlanta 1996 Olympic crew neck. It's just a cool little crew neck, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy, but I don't know why, I just really liked it. And for the price that it was sitting at, like, I don't know, I just bought it. You guys are probably like, why would you wear something from Atlanta? You're not in Atlanta, da 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 listen i'm not gonna say too much should i tell y'all should i tell y'all now nah, i'm not gonna say anything i'm not gonna say anything but just know that um you know what i'm saying i might you know what i'm saying go atlanta go atlanta Agla. you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna say anything but if you if you if you catch my drift you catch my drift again this is another piece that menace los angeles threw me a while ago one of my most favorite fit picks is with this jacket on this jacket is truly beautiful it is leather as you guys can see tag goes crazy on it this is such a crazy detail and not a lot of people can see on the back i think it's like embossed into the jacket but yeah it does say menace on the back and yeah let's go on to the next item another thrifted real tree item this is just a simple russell crew neck cool little you feel me cool little real tree like i said something about real tree just when i see a cool piece i don't care how much real tree i have i'll pick it up again and again i found this at the thrift store i found this at the thrift store so when y'all ask me how do you find your real tree you lying because i be yeah, people be telling me i'm lying i'm not lying i'm not lying there's a whole bunch of normie farmer dudes who just trash this stuff at the the thrift store every year like it's sitting there in pounds bruh go to the thrift store if you want real tree right here for my favorite small brand this is the filthy project hoodie this is printed on a vintage blank and it is personally sun faded and dyed by the filthy project man if y'all don't know filthy go tapping with filthy man that's like my favorite brand they do their own blanks to printing on vintage blanks to upcycling like they just do a whole bunch of crazy stuff it's my favorite brand man i've been following since like 2016 2017 i don't even know at this point it's been a minute this is my moss green blank champion 
crew neck. I love this. It's got holes in it too. It's faded and a hoe. But I don't know. It's just something about this color and the fade on it in person that just like makes me cling on to this little rag. I don't know why. Like I'm just clinging on to it for dear life. When I was heavy into my TikTok days, this was my little piece. I was seen wearing this in a lot of videos. Not that it was like brought up, but it's just something that I knew I did. I always wore that crew neck. I always wore that crew neck. It was my favorite. And so yeah, Drew Crew, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here and you like what you see, and you know what I'm saying, you catch a vibe, hit subscribe, Egla. I'm not no rapper. Um, Go ahead and hit that like button for me, whether you're subscribed or not. Show your girl love, because I just know I put y'all on to like, I just know I put y'all on to a bunch of pieces and brands. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, drop a comment drop your favorite piece if you made it to the end of this video drop a comment that you made it to the end of this video do whatever you got to do i want to get on the algorithm more as you guys know we are growing we are almost at 5k as you guys know i like to do these little videos in between like the day in the life of vlogs you know what i'm saying where i'm actually doing stuff i like to take this time you know in between those vlogs where i'm busy and i'm picking up the camera and i'm here and i'm there to just sit down you know what i'm saying just show you guys like i don't know some cool things i have or just talk I like these little sit-down vlogs. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys don't even know. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This YouTube thing is about to go, bro. It's about to go. I love you guys. I love you, Drew Crew. Bye. You smoking, smoking on exotic. The shit got me fried. Bitch, you fucking bruising. Bitch, you fucking